you're gonna need a 246 27 piece with a 27 or 28 piece any color of your choice some hair glue some shears and a decent razor comb hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is natasha naomi and here on this channel we focus on things such as beauty fashion and lifestyle so today in this video we are going to be creating a quick weave pixie wig or a pixie quick weave wig however you want to call it but this is my first time ever trying this style let alone making it on myself so i will say it was a lot of fun it was kind of stressful though because i didn't really know what i was doing most of the time until about the very very end so anyways I got my braids i'd suggest that you make smaller braids than what i did because mine are very bulky so if you can get them flatter it'll be better but once you have your braids you're gonna have well at least i had to sew my braids down to my head because my hair is so long so that's what you see me doing here i am just creating knots with the thread and i am just sewing my hair down to my head so that way it is out of the way and i don't have to stuff it up under a actual wig cap um i actually really like sewing my hair down to i don't know why it feels good <laughs> and it's fun and once you get the technique of it because it's it can be kind of hard but you have to create that knot before you can pull it all the way through so that way it gets stuck on itself and that's what you're going for so now you're going to take your shower cap put it on this is going to protect your hair from the glue and it's going to make it a wig so that way when you take off the shower cap you take off the wig and then you just separate the shower cap from the wig so this is my first time ever seeing anything like this like the three donuts of hair i'm going to take the shortest length which is the two inch and i'm going to start off by creating my base back there so as you can see i just measure I see what it looks like. I have a mirror right in front of me so I can see the back of my head and I'm going to cut it and I am going to add my track with the glue measuring again. Here I have my glue. I'm going to add it to this wig cap and it's so funny because I didn't mean to use this wig cap but I used it and it worked out perfectly in the end and throughout the video you'll kind of hear me talking about how I don't know why I didn't use like a regular regular wig cap. Now, when you get with the longer lengths, you're gonna wanna straighten the entire weft. It just makes it easier to lay, so that way you don't get glue throughout the hair. That's just what I found worked best for me. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video as I will be talking now. I'm finally starting to see the vision come to life a little bit. Even though I still have the shortest tracks left, I'm gonna start to create some sideburns I'm starting to, and it just now hit me like a ton of breaks that, why didn't I use a real wig cap? This is a, I hope it works, but if it does work, I'll probably continue to do it like this. But, so anyways, we're just gonna take some of the longer tracks and put it right on top of that track so that I can have some long sideburns. And of course we'll cut the sideburns like This whole pack of hair was $20, so worst comes to worst, I'll just remake another wig. This is my first time doing this, so yeah. Glue on my track. I love how fast that this glue dries, so that I'm just going to, let me do this side first because that's what I measured it for. And I'm going to just sit that right on top of that other track. supposed to be. I do got a big ass braid right here, but none of that will show by the time I'm done. So I've got this piece of hair which will get cut. Okay, so I'm back 
and this is what I'm working with so far. All I did was I started laying the longer, once I ran out of the shorter tracks, I started laying the longer tracks just across, and then I decided I had some blonde, and I just put one patch here. I layered two small patches here because I wanted it to be kind of different, and then I put just one blonde patch back there, and then I'm gonna keep adding blonde throughout the whole thing. But for now, I was kind of thinking I should add more blonde right now, but I am going to add more blonde in like another two rows because I want the blonde to kind of be layered and feathered. Um, I'm just kind of doing my own thing right now and being creative with it, so I'm having fun. This is called a quick weave, but ain't nothing quick about it. Like, I've been doing this shit for hours. And maybe it's because I'm, I'm a perfectionist. Like everything has to be just right for me. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna, what I was doing before was I was taking a full blown track. I was like doing a full track. Now I'm just doing them in sections. So right now I'll just show you how I'm gonna do this one. From here to here, chop it. I'm very tired at this point too. But I wanna get this done. So after I chopped it, I'm gonna put my glue on the track and I found a really fast way to do that. So, oh, and another thing that's gonna help if you guys are like first timers like me is the track. Uh, Y'all see this track right here? You guys can really see the track right here. When it has that little turn, just snip off any little like, if it's not, if the track is not straight, it's not gonna lay straight. So you're gonna have to cut it off. But yeah, so yeah, let me get some glue on here and then I'm gonna lay this witch off. I seen that a couple of people, like when I was looking up tutorials, I seen that a couple of people were laying the glue right on their head. And I would do that on like a mannequin head. Next time, I'm just gonna have to do this on a mannequin head because I think it would go by way faster. The only issue I have is that I don't have a mannequin head that uh, is my size. I need like a small mannequin head. So, yeah, this is how I'm gonna lay that. See how that didn't really lay, so you just gotta lay it. And I've already tested to see if, um, if the plastic cap underneath is gonna separate from this wig cap, and it is. This one is more like thicker than normal wig caps so it should be just fine but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down a blonde wig cap like a regular blonde wig cap before I put down this wig back on when I separate it so you'll see what I'm talking about but yeah you can see that these braids right here are kind of bulky but it's not gonna be a problem it'll be just fine and see how that's like a feathered blonde look now like kind of like highlight exactly what I was going for so yes I still have this is the last track that I have that is like this length and then it goes into the much longer lengths and then once I start doing the much longer lengths not much longer but longer the longest length you'll start to see it'll start to get some body and then I'll layer it I'm excited to layer it so <sighs> Um, that was that for that right there. Then what I'm gonna do is I'll just put this one right here. Or... I don't know. Or should I just double stack that one back up there? Let's see. to like go in a circular motion but in sections so let's just do from this side to about halfway to the middle <laughs> I have never 
trust our process more than I trust this process. This is what trusting the process looks like because I don't like it at all right now, but I understand how this works. So like, I'm just gonna keep going. Um, I think it looks hella weird right now, but when I was watching tutorials, it always looks weird at first. Um, and I'm doing something I never seen. I'm playing with color, a little bit of blonde. I can already see that this is really, really pretty, this right here. So I'm gonna just keep going with it. And this is what the top looks like. I have like a perfect circle now. Um, but what I've been doing is, now I kind of want to do one more diagonal and then start um, like, that's right. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one more diagonal start laying it differently because I just want to do it differently um, <laughs> this is the shortest shit I've ever had in my life I don't know if I'm gonna like it but uh, let's just lay this track together hmm I'm trying to think how should I lay these tracks everyone just continues to go in circles but I find that it makes the bangs too dense and I don't want to have to cut that much so I'm thinking if I was to take this length and start to close this gap on a diagonal. Diagonal, diagonal. I don't know, that doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna have to make a middle piece. I don't really know how I'm gonna do that. Actually, I do know how I'm gonna do it. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one more track right back here, straight like that. And then I'm gonna start laying them diagonal. So that way it can start to look feathered and more, I want like that, you know, kind of like a triangle in the middle of my face. Kind of what I'm going for. I hope you guys can see. I'm gonna do one more straight one. This isn't my first quick weave on my channel. This is my first ever pixie cut in my whole life, so. I'm just going to, and it's getting much easier now that the top is almost done. Now I'm gonna start to close this gap little by little, so. I'm just gonna take this one piece, small little piece. This is, the way I'm laying it is gonna make it easier for me to um, cut it. So that way I'm not dealing with some dense, just dense all the same direction hair, like that makes it difficult. So I'm going to put that right in that little, I'm gonna start. Right here. So, this is how much I have left. And all I've been doing is it's 10 o'clock p.m. I think I started this at like 4. And it's my first time doing it. That's why I really took my time. It's getting easier and easier now because I'm just going diagonally. Like, instead of trying to make a circle, I'm just going like from the middle of my, where my middle part would be on my real hair to the back and then it's easier to lay the track like that and it ends up making a perfect circle anyways so let me get that glue on there flat back and circular oh yeah and i laid more blonde on this side because i'm kind of going for like a skunk stripe type look i really like the skunk stripe and i'm and i can tell i'm achieving it this already looks really good just as is, but imagine the sides tapered. So yeah, I am moving along nicely. Middle, back, cut right there. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna make my own closure.
closure or I'm gonna just use the closure they got. Hold up, let me see. I'm gonna come back when it's time to do the closure. All right, so here is our top. This is what I'm left with. The closure that it came with, I'm just gonna use it because there's nothing wrong with it. I've seen that nobody uses them, but I'm gonna use it because I don't wanna make my own closure. Even though, I don't know if I should add more. I feel like this is gonna be just fine, this closure. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that closure kind of sits weird at the top of my head. Um, I think I'm going to do some more tracks and then I'm going to pop this closure on. Let's see. Oh yeah, so if I can see, I need at least two more tracks right here. Or maybe just one more track at the very least. And then finally we'll get to shaping to get rid of all of this bulk right here. We're gonna go for more of like a tapered look. So let's take this off and then we do. Granted, I still have all of this extra hair. It's like three full wefts, um, three long full wefts. So I can't wait to start layering so I can see how it really, really looks. I'm finally about to start cutting. I got my technique. I'm going to come in on my diagonal. Um, right where I was doing the diagonals, where I was just going this way. I'm gonna move this hair out of the way. I'm not gonna play with that brush because that brush is a razor brush, so. Move this out the way. I'm realizing too, I might redo this closure because this closure is sitting right at the top of my head. And I wish I would have put it back just a little bit more because I've got a gap right here. But depending on, I'm going to take this wig off and see if it even is a wig. So, yeah, I'm going to move this out the way and I'm just going to use my comb to pin it right there. This is the bulk of where I need to get rid of stuff. So, start right in front of my ear and I'm going to take my razor comb this side of the razor comb and I'm just going to kind of razor comb it forward and see what starts to happen I'm so tired. 
my face very nicely. So I'm just gonna keep running with it. I'm picking up a little bit of hair and then I'm just going to flat razor comb against my head. all I'm going to do around the whole parameter of my hair where but once I started going forward I'm not going to touch that I'm going to leave that bulky I'm going to take a shower after too all right so this is what I'm working with I found my cutting technique and um, as you can see I didn't cut the technique on this side I wanted to find what I was doing first so this is the side that I like the most and it's still not done but I want to start cutting into this side hair is everywhere I wish I would have like really put on like a turtleneck because the hair is super itchy but nonetheless um, let's see, bring this down a bit. I'm loving it I really am loving it I feel like I look like Halle Berry or Carrie Hilson or Nia Long or 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 did I say Halle Berry? Ah, so cute. Okay, so technique. Um, you're gonna need some shears. I mean some thinning scissors. You're gonna need some dull shears as well as some sharp shears as well as some as well as a razor comb. This razor comb is a game changer. It's gonna take it from this looks like granny. This is giving rich on tea granny rich on tea and the blonde I'm so glad I put the blonde in there because I think it would have been a little too boring for me without the blonde so anyways um oh yeah and make sure you got a mirror behind you because that just helps with everything this mirror I can see everything in this mirror I can also see I need to put another track right here for sure for sure um, I could put another couple of tracks right here to be honest with you should I just do that real quick but yeah I'm loving it I am loving it I might as well put the tracks in that I need so And it just I can see it back here I didn't see it until I looked in this little mirror back here y'all can't see what I see but I see it just looks like I need some tracks so let me find a hair clip I'll be right back as soon as I'm about to put in this uh, track so I'll be right 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 back okay so I got I decided to um, just sneak a piece of blonde back there because I'm really feeling the blonde I'm having so much fun and now it's becoming fun I think for the past couple hours it's been a little stressful because I had to trust the process and I did not like it up until this exact point um, and I was just thinking like I love that I get so inspired by things like for an example all day today before I started to do my hair I'm like okay if I'm gonna do it I gotta do it right so naturally I went and I watched um, Carrie Hilson pretty girl rock I watched uh, some TLC um, what's the one with the girl in the pajamas so you can see where I'm channeling from I pulled up some clips from Friday and Miss Nia Long just her running outside you can see like I don't know I love feeling inspired and then acting on that inspiration and then next thing you know I inspired myself because this is probably one of the prettiest hairstyles I've ever done ever Ooh, I already put away my um, blow dryer <sighs> thinking I didn't need it uh, that's okay I'm just gonna let it go saying like this is so pretty to me and I just I love it it's so light it's so lightweight it's so different I've never it's like it shows off my face 
more. Then it's this side that I'm really loving. I love the little swoop right here. It's giving Tinkerbell. Um, now this side just definitely needs some work and I found my technique. I was getting kind of frustrated at first because I didn't know like how, see that? <gasps> I just love the sharp edges of it all. Oh my God, it's like orgasm after orgasm, like hair orgasm. I just live for this type of shit, type of things. Ooh, I got glue all on my hands, but anyways, so I got some blonde back there. I'm gonna let this back <laughs> while shaking it. And then um, there was another part I needed. There's a couple of parts where I'm like, okay, I can see where I just got tired and decided to stop. But let me um, pull back this layer. Too much fuller but yeah this is a big ass big old gap a real big gap so if I fill this gap I can see it perfectly in this little mirror back here if only I had a little light right there by the mirror right there let me see what I can conjure okay so I found this already Oh my gosh, I just, I love it. I love it, I'm not even done yet. And I just, I love it, I do. Wow. I love when things just come together, like, I said I needed a light and here goes a light. Wow. That really helps me see so much better right there. Let's try again. Right here. So yeah. No scrubs. That's what I was watching. Scrubbed by TLC. And I was like, yep, that's the that's the style. That's where I pulled this from. And then the mushroom top came from Carrie Hilson and Pretty Girl Rock. And then the rest just kind of came from Nia Long and like early 90s Halle Berry. So, it's so funny too, because I was so set on, and it's so funny how things work. I had a hair appointment set to get some, not locks, but like ocean goddess twists, because I wanted to go see The Little Mermaid and have my hair kind of similar to Halle Bailey's. Now here I am, and I'm going to still go to the movies, but we're going as Halle Berry, so. Here goes a nice long piece. Watch it be the perfect size that I need. Okay, it's a bit long. I gotta cut it just a little bit. Damn, that's a big old gap. I could do two pieces right there. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do two pieces because we don't need no big gaps. The crown. So I'm gonna cut that. And next time. How I would do this easier is I would just do little sections like this. Before, in the beginning of the video, you guys seen me do long sections with long, strung out pieces of glue, and it worked fine. I didn't, I really didn't make a mess at all with the glue. I just wish I would have. It would have been way faster, way easier to do it in chunks. How I'm doing now, just like small quarter chunks type. And then before I was like doing it like this, now I'm just like in there. My hands were hurting, I'm like, damn, this is too hard. And it, it's all about just repositioning yourself. And uh, I'm so excited. Oh, I just had a vision of me with platinum blonde, just like this. The gag is this hair is $20 and one pack will do your whole head. So yeah, I'm gonna do some platinum blonde. I can see like a light, light brown even. Yeah, I'm 
digging it. I am so, and the funny part is I found this 27 piece in my local beauty supply store and it just so happened to be the very last one there and it was covered in dirt. Like, I almost didn't get it and I had to talk the man down. I was like, bruh, sell this to me for $10 because why is it covered in dirt? It's like, well, that's the last one. We never sell those. Okay, give it to me for half the price. Don't fucking play with me. So anyways, I be having my way. Oh yeah. Much better. It's about to be another long video, but it's okay. And it's so much fun. I can't believe I've been, the funny part is, I've been doing this for the past, when did I start? Four o'clock p.m. I started. It is 12 in the morning. It is 12, 23 in the morning. That's six hours and 23 minutes. And it's not that it took that long, it's that I was just so, I would take breaks and get inspired, go look at my inspiration pictures again, go watch a video again, go watch a hair cutting video again, go watch a quick weave tutorial again. Like, I love being passionate. It's one of my favorite things to be is passionate. Because when the results kick in like this, man, I just know. I've always told myself I can do anything I set my mind to, and here I am doing everything I set my mind to, literally everything. I think about that every day, there's like, hmm, what's one thing you can't do? I don't know, I can't come up with it. <laughs> Dead ass. Okay, so you guys are seeing me from this angle, which is fine, but it's really this angle that I'm really proud of, is like this. But that's why I just didn't do the other side so I can show you guys. All right, so one last piece. Right here. You know what, should I do a shorter piece right there? For the sake of volume? Let me see. Yeah. Just do a short piece, switch it up. Now, the only thing I'm a little bit nervous about, y'all, is the fact that y'all seen it. I didn't do this on a weight cap, I did this on a weight cap, I did this on like a wig cap you put on before you put on the wig not an actual sturdy wig cap so and it's comfortable with the plastic on and it's like you would have to really touch my head to hear the plastic it's not like you know so I don't know if I'm gonna even take the plastic out I really don't know I've got a I want to go to the barbecue this weekend and a little family get together and I'm definitely wearing this wig so if the plastic doesn't come out, I'm not going to take it out. I don't even care. I really don't care. It's so lightweight. I don't see myself like sweating in it to the point where like the plastic becomes uncomfortable. It is so lightweight. And the fact that this was a $20 hairstyle and I didn't even use all of the hair, I'm just kind of blown away. It's crazy too because I went from feeling like, damn, I don't like it to cutting in like oh my goodness this is my absolute favorite so far you know what's so funny too i've had more hairstyles this year alone than i've had in my entire life and it's only may like i've just been in my hair i've been in my hair should add some volume. I love how much blonde is on this side. I might go back in. Well, I just need to uh, do my layers and my thinning because as soon as I lifted that up, you guys get to see all that pretty blonde. I hope I'm in frame. I am, I'm perfectly in frame. 
all of that pretty blonde right there. So, yeah. And I got glue all on my hands, but it just rubs right off. Right off my little French manicure. Oh yeah, I did my nails. That tutorial is already on the channel. Um, I might have to do an updated tutorial because I did kind of change up my technique a little bit the other day. take this out this is where we're gonna start to Ugh. I wanted volume right there I really did so that's kind of cool now this is where we're gonna start to so you can see that plastic right there you see that I like this right here but so I'm gonna make my middle part like I would always do with my natural hair. Boom. This side is cool. I'm cool with this side. So what I'm going to do is take a clip, clip it away so it doesn't get in my way. Now, boom, I'm going to take my comb again from my middle part. I'm just going to take a little vertical section. I'm gonna grab it, twist it, twist it all the way as much as I can, any direction, it doesn't even matter. This is when I'm gonna reach for my sharp shears. And when you cut, you're just gonna be cutting barely. And we're not doing the tip, we're doing a we're we're cutting it the base. So I'm just gonna get my scissors in there and start trimming at the base, but with such little movement that as I'm cutting, I'm also forcing my hand with the scissors down. I just want the length though. I want the length to stay. So I got, I don't know if you guys can even see that right there. I got like that much hair. That's all I cut off. Let's see. That's all I cut off was that much hair. And what that's gonna do is, it's gonna create this like layered effect and sharper angles. Instead of like a blunt cut, it's gonna have some hollows and dips and like, like a mountain top. And I'm just gonna freestyle it like that. And then I'm gonna go on to the next little section and do the same thing. Bring it down from the crown. And then I got this section right here. Open the twister. This time, as you noticed, I twisted a different direction. Like I said, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna zoom y'all in so you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, you're zoomed in, so I've twisted. scissors and I'm cutting right at the base right where the screw is out of my scissor and I'm just gonna put it in there trim down ever so slightly I'm barely even moving my hand when I say I'm barely moving my hands I'm barely doing this I'm not I'm not doing that I'm just You see that layer right there? I know you, you see it just like that. I'm gonna do another one. Now, I see this closure and I don't know how I feel about it. Ooh, I need another piece of hair right there, so I'm gonna have that in a little bit. See how dense all this is compared to that? So I'm just gonna. This time, as you noticed, what I'm doing, I'm not just holding it close to my head. I want a little more volume here, so I'm gonna pick up the hair, and then I'm gonna twist. See how I picked it up, twisted, and then bring it down? Now you can see that caramel twist, like Starbucks. Uh, caramel frappuccino right there. That's what we gonna call this hairstyle. A grande caramel frappuccino. Then I'm just gonna kind of go it just barely. And I'm also 
also pushing my hand with the scissors down the hair shaft as I go because I want to maintain a certain amount of length. Now you see, do you see how much I just got off? You see how layered that is? That's going to let you know that this right here, now we can just play with it and see what we've got. If we've got volume, if we've got layer, shag, edge, shag and edge. That's exactly what we have, a shag and edge. That's exactly what I was going for. I would like a little more shag edge and a little more less length right here. So I'm just gonna take this little piece, twist. It's very therapeutic for me, I find too. Just cutting shit. <laughs> cutting is my thing. I just be chopping shit. Even when I'm cooking, I'm like, oh, this is the best part. difference look how dense all that is okay shag so I'm just gonna now grab my clip put away the shags and the reason why I brought this up I'm gonna bring it back down because I just I don't know how to describe it, but it just feels right to bring it down. Maybe because it's so thick, um, you don't want any harsh, like, chops. That's exactly what I'm moving away from. I'm Because this is harsh. This is just, it's harsh, right? I don't want any more harshness than what I've already got. So I'm going to start here. I want you to notice something. The length is not coming from the bottom. The length is coming from this top piece. So now I can pick it up and twist it. Twist it all the way down. The blonde in there really helps you see the twist too. So that's super cool. just had an idea so I'm gonna act on it I had an idea instead of cutting all the way through too I wonder if I can just notch it so let's see how that looks beautiful shaggy um, it's not voluminous yet because I didn't really sh I didn't uh, straighten it with my straightener so yeah that's the technique y'all do it again Really easy, really simple. Twist her. Now this is too thick, so I'm just gonna take a little less. Now I'm gonna try a new technique that just came to my mind just a second ago. I'm going to take my shears, and this time I'm just gonna notch it. Still feels dense, so I'm gonna go back to the other technique. dense there's separation there's like flow you see the flow okay cool y'all get it now another thing 
Well, let's finish the bangs first, which is just going to be the rest of this portion. Okay, so you can see this is still a little more less thin than that. From what I remember, I took my comb, I brushed it forward, and then I just grabbed my razor comb and I just lightly did like that. It's funny because I actually don't remember. I'm trying to It's getting body. It's getting like, and I didn't even have to touch a flat iron yet or a curling iron. Oh my god, who's calling me this late at night? Just playing with it, you can see. Love that. Okay, so now I'm ready to get into this section now. Um, so, one of the first things I did was I came right above my ear. I'm gonna push this up, and then I'm just gonna straight up start taking off weight with the razor comb, and I'm just going to just start calming down. I hated this part because feeling this on my neck is cringe as fuck, but I'm just going to shake it off. Another thing is, I can really feel that plastic, and I'm just going around the whole thing. I'm not really even looking like that. I'm just... Now I notice that when I get back to this side, there's not much to cut, so I'm just going to keep cutting until I don't hear or feel anything. I need this to be flush to my skin. The great thing about this razor comb is you can't cut yourself with it. Like, I'm touching my ear with it, and because it's a comb, my ear will never get cut. So. I'm sure these are equivalent to like clippers with um, a guard on it. Pretty much. Okay, that's all that weight that just came out of the hair. Now it doesn't look so grannyish on this side, but it's also not giving like va va boom yet. And that's because I'm gonna zoom y'all back in. That's because we have to give our ears some like shape. You see how our ear is just kind of drowning in there? So I'm just gonna come into the top of my natural ear, like the shape of my ear. And right here, I'm just gonna push it forward. And this time I'm gonna razor comb to give my ear some love and some like freedom. Just like that. And I may have just taken off. No, I didn't. I didn't take off too much. I still got to come in here now. And this is still sitting on my ear too much. I'm going to comb it up with my hand. And just razor comb it down. Let a little bit loose. Razor comb it down. A little bit loose. Razor comb it down. 
and that's nice, but it's still not giving my ear the freedom it needs. That's when I'm going to go in with my thinning scissors. I'm going to grab that same piece how I did with the comb over my ear, and I'm just going to thin it forward without taking off too much of my sideburns because I just took off, well, sideburns look about e uh, even now, so. see who called me because that was kind of weird. I didn't feel like saying anything but also could have been a family member. I just missed a call from this number. Uh, yeah, I was wondering if you're Who is this? Uh, found you on uh, Craigslist thing. Oh no. Uh, for what? I was wondering if you're available. For a massage. You found me on Craigslist? Can you send me a link to that so I can report it, please? Oh, it was actually a list crawler, sorry. What's it called? List crawler. List crawler. I've never heard of that. Okay, thank you so much. I'm going to report it now. Thank you. intentional though that felt like it was someone that I know and they're using one of those voiceover things list caller wow escort wow very scary oh, it's 12 o'clock in the morning I just I some said call back just get some information seed. Okay, anyways, I ended up taking off a little bit too much of my sideburn. Sideburn feels mad thin, and I really like the density of the sideburn right here. Uh, there's no bringing it back, though, but I can still just go back and add a track. Try not to let that shit throw off my mood. This side still looks better to me. This side is still getting bulky, so I'm just gonna take more off. I could even go back and add a track right there. crazy how even though I'm not gonna talk about that right now. It's not the time or the place. Okay, back to the hair. Um
all telling him, thank you, I'm gonna report it. He's all waiting on the line to see if I'm just joking or some shit. Oh, scary. Scary, scary, scary. But it's not that scary, because that's why I only massage women now. After being harassed for so long. And it just feels personal, but it's okay, because whoever's fucking with me is gonna have some shit coming when it comes to fucking Groundhog Day. Judgment Day, Groundhog Day. <laughs> I'm tired. That makes me so sad, because it's like, damn. Makes me want to go into a cave and not work on my YouTube channel and not do nothing, but it's like, nah. That's not... I should be able to be young and feel hot and sexy and like have a personal life outside of my career like and I don't think it's my fault that I get those kind of calls I actually am in a couple of different um, Facebook groups and most people get that most massage therapists receive terrible phone calls like that it wasn't that bad though Okay, that was a good cut. Oh, that was a really good cut right there. Now I see this is something right here. my very last technique that I've been doing is I'm running my fingers up and I'm razor coming down but only past a certain point and that certain point is just where I want it to be I'm kind of going with the shape of my face. So see how I'm in alignment with my cheekbones? I want it to be thinner there to go with my face. So that's that on that. I still feel like this side. Now, I do have some big braids right here. And the braid, wow, there's not a big braid right there. So maybe I can. too much right there. So I'm going to reach for a piece of hair that's really thin and small. And I want more of a sideburn right here. So I'm going to find this sideburn, which is right, which right there. cap is kind of shrinking too because I'm doing so much. I'm scared that if I 
but you know it's cool even if i was to rip it it's like because the tracks are on there it's its whole own structure now so i can pull it It has more volume right here, but that's because we parted it. So I'm just gonna part it right here and let this sit to create some volume. I'm just gonna let that sit for a second, like I did. Now I'm seeing that everything looks good now. Take my. Ow! I was gonna create a, another sideburn, but I'm kind of not going to. Ooh, I'm just itchy. I'm tired. I don't think I could be more in love. I'm hairy and I'm oily. I'm saying I'm hairy. I got hair everywhere. I'm oily and my makeup came out perfect today too. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna look at what this I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna call it a night. So this is the final look of the hair, you guys. I, um, I really love it. It's just giving grown and sexy and confidence and just different. But also, it's not different. It's very much so serving 90s realness. Tinkerbell, Halle Berry, Nia Long, like, did my thing i most definitely did my thing um so yeah this is a close-up i showed y'all how we cut it um oh and it's a wig oh and i didn't even get to tell you guys okay let me zoom out so i can kind of just talk to you guys like regular so yeah um this is a wig and it's crazy because so should i just take it off and show you guys i might as well We've come this far. I might as well show y'all. So all I did was, you seen how I glued it onto my head? I'm gonna just take it off real quick. It's literally the most comfortable wig I've ever worn in my entire life. So this is the wig cap I have underneath. Now the wig cap that came with the 27 piece, um, I will say is much thicker, but it's not that much thicker. So like, this is what the wig looks like when it's not on my head. It just looks like a big old ball. It's kind of creepy a little bit, but I'm gonna show you guys the inside. Just turn it inside out. And because you glued, because I glued all those tracks on there, the actual wig cap became way more sturdy. Like there's no way for it to rip. I was like really tugging on it. This is what it looks like. It's just a regular, regular see that it's just a regular wig cap you guys can even see the stocking cap you can see my finger it's not going to tear because I don't know it's like the glue made it more sturdy so
so anyways i'm just gonna pop it back on so comfortable so 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 snug now i'm gonna make this wig again and i'm gonna do it in like a 613 color i just can't get over this i really it makes me feel like an auntie and i am an auntie but it makes me just feel like auntie like auntie like uh, and it smells good because it smells like my perfume i don't know how to put it it's just like everything is perfect so yeah when i pop it on i literally just pop it on and it's so snug i got my little hairs right there i'm definitely gonna remake it just like this um when i do the 613 hair But uh, get my ears out. Make sure you cover up that other wig cap when you put yours on. My baby hairs. I like the baby hairs to kind of sit out, but I've been out all day, so. It is snug. It's snug. It's perf. Like. I can't stop playing with it. I absolutely love it. I think that it just shapes me really well. Um, I will say that without a full beat face like this, it does kind of look like, I don't know why, but without lashes and brows, it just doesn't look as good, of course. Just be, maybe because it's such a new style for me and I'm just like adjusting. And every now and again, it's so funny, I find myself trying to whip my shit back and it just not, it's not fair. <laughs> so, but yeah, um, yes, 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 yes. I highly recommend that you guys try a 27 piece. And next, and this one is, you know, I've already showed you guys, but I'll show you again. Velvet Remy by Tara. Velvet Remy Tara, the two, four, six, two inches, four inches, six inches, um next time i'm gonna try 613 just all blonde like tinkerbell blonde and one more time for the back i love how i cut it too oh and i really love that i ended up putting a four inch back here on the nape it just it gives corporate it's giving corporate america but like my corporate America, like this is my land. This is my, not my land. This is my like, ugh, business. See, and there's so many things you can do. I just keep doing it. And I, I like that. You can feather these out. You can do a side bang. Funny how I'm just now, ooh, that's giving tink. Tinkerbell with my cute little mole right there. So cute. So cute. So cute. That is the end of this video. If you made it to the very end, go ahead and comment a white heart in the description box down below. <laughs> I mean in the comment section down below and also comment what type of hairstyle you'd like to see me do next I want to start making content that you guys want to watch. So let me know what you're trying to see Thank you so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end of this video Have a lovely rest of your day and I will catch you next time. Bye